Hi, I'm Lawrence Sarkins for Stone Pumps. I'm here today to show you how simple and easy it is to strip down our RFP centrifugal pump. Real easy unit. Let's begin. First of all, we'll pop the front cover off. Very simple. Just three hex, little hex nuts there. One, two, and the third one. Carefully holding it as I'm taking it off. There we go. Real weight on that. Solid construction. It's not going to fail in a hurry. Let's pop that down. Next we've got our open impeller. For the advantages we discussed earlier. Let's just pop that off. We've got a gun. Just hold out. There we go. Impeller nut off. Gun down. Position made. Comes off nice and easy. Open impeller, very simple. As you can see here, there's a small, uh, there's a small nylock that we put it over the nut to make sure that that cannot come undone. But in normal running, it's constantly doing up anyway. So simple. You've got a key on the shaft here. We just pop that key off. Bear with me. I'm just doing everything back to front at the moment. we go, key off, yeah. and we got a, first of all we have a, a tappet here, it's like a bush which the impeller pushes against, we can see it's got an o-ring on there so that seals it against the, the impeller, so that's pushing against this, which in turn is pushing against a spring, it's positively driven there, you can see it's got a little cut out there which the spring inserts into. Pop that down. Very simple construction. So now we're just going to pop this case off. Again, very easy to do. We have a clamp arrangement which holds the casing here onto the bell housing. So we just loosen that off. Very simple. So that's loosened off. And then we just need to just crack gently that casing. We just Little tap, and that should be loosened off. Let me very carefully and gently put that off. Easy. Then immediately we've got our rotary face. Yeah. Rotary face, that turns with the shaft, obviously. And then in the back of the case, we can see it's the, the other face, the mechanical seal, our static face. To take out a static face, we simply push it from behind, position made, pops out nice and easy. Simple. So reassemble that. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in this static face. Let's get that in. Up. Just line it up. In you go. Very simple. Push it in. Next thing we do, everything in reverse order in essence. So we'll pop this on here now. Good weight on it. Again, very solid construction. And very simple to do. You can see how long this took me to do. I mean, it, it's literally showing you as well. A couple of minutes tops, isn't it? Very, very basic. I mean, the pumps run and run. But if you do need to take them apart, that's how easy it is. Very easy. Let's just pop that clamp out there. So that's now gripping the, the case. Next thing we need is the, the rotary seal, which we said about. So the rotary seal, that's gonna go on next. If you're doing this with a, a new unit, with a new seal, I'd recommend you put a nominal amount of grease on the O-rings, obviously, to ease them going on the shaft. We got our spring to go on. That's the spring on. And then we've got our tappet, which we were saying the impeller pushes against. So we just need to locate that in the correct place there. That's it. And then we need to put our key in. Just put that in there. That's it, key in. Simple. 
And then finally, what have we got? Impeller. Again, position made, no need to force it, nice and easy. Standard right hand threaded, very simple. And let me just tighten this up. Pan nut on. We check we've got half a mil clearance behind this impeller on this particular unit. Very simple. When we've got that, we then put the cover on. And then one. Two. Three. Simple. That's it. What was that? Three minutes? Very easy to do. Anyone can do it. I can do it. Anyone can do it. Simple. For stand pumps. Thank you.